One other question I wanted to ask you, and that is, you are a strong voice toward young women understanding their value, uh, not being uh, objectified by others or determining their self-worth by what other people think of them. What kind of advice would you give to the moms uh, and dads who are watching us right now that have young ladies in the house to help them uh, lean into what God says about them rather than what their Instagram comments are saying about them? Gosh, that's such a good one. You know, guys, I really think just talking about it is so key. Um, running scenarios. I mean, I, I know this sounds kind of silly, but I covered Thursday night football for two seasons for CBS. And we think of these pro NFL athletes, how they're running routes, they're doing those drills in practice. When they get to that game, they've, you know, thrown that pass a thousand times. Right. I got into this business, Kirk, not even thinking about certain scenarios and what I would do. We didn't talk about it in college. We studied the practical, right. the practical mm -hmm. skills of how to speak in the microphone and this and that, but That's right. what do you do when you're on the job and you're asked to wear a dress that you're not crazy about that's too revealing? Right. What do you do if you're on a movie set, and you can certainly relate to this one, and you have a love scene where you are um, asked to push it a little further than was originally in the script. Yeah. What do you do? So I tell parents, try to talk about that stuff beforehand with your kids. That's right. Write, write your black and whites. What will you compromise on? What will you not? What means right. the most to you? You know, write a mission statement for your life. So good. And, wow. and then I would say, I would say, Kirk, you know, to the ladies, it's just remembering I am fearfully and wonderfully made. There is no one like me in this world. God has a special plan for my life. I was knitted together in my mother's womb before I even came into the earth. Just remembering that you are unique and special and God's view of you is perfect and, and turning off the world's view of you and, and then giving practical examples. You know, I've interviewed people that the world would find not attractive. And I've left the interview thinking that is one of the most beautiful people I have ever met. So, you know, looking for looking past what the world sees for beauty. But I would also add that guys are so important in this conversation. And you, Kirk Cameron, made a major <laughs> impact on my life. You, um, when I was in college. Wait a minute. I, I made an impact on your life? Yes. How did I, I do that? Westmont <laughs> College in Santa Barbara, California. I love Westmont College. I was just there with Olivia. We were looking, we're looking at colleges. Great school. Okay, you went there. Go <laughs> on, go on. I like this story. Go on. So my senior year, this is actually in my book, my senior year of college, um, a, a student group at our college brought you, Kirk, to an event that they called One Night Only, Night with a K. Yes. And it was an evening to talk about value and worth and marriage and dating. Didn't and you go out onto the beach with candles? Yes, we yes, did. Yes, <laughs> I remember that with roses, I think, and flowers. So it was a gathering of all the women at the college to just have a night to talk about dating and our standards and valuing ourselves, how we were going to approach dating. And Kirk was the keynote speaker. And I'm telling you to have a, it, yes, it's amazing to have women get up and speak to women, but we need each other. And to have Kirk get up and say, I really valued that in my wife. I valued that in Chelsea. This is how we approach dating. This is how we approached marriage. Ladies, you are beautiful. You are worth it to have this movie star, television star say that to us hugely important. So I think talking about it and talking to each other about it is so important. I listen, I was a fan of the book. I kissed dating goodbye. I know it's gotten um, a bit of a rough, um, it's just having a rough time right now. Some people, yep, you know, know you maybe think it wasn't perfect, but I take the I think, good from it. Yeah. Nothing's perfect, but I certainly take the good from it in terms of putting our best foot forward and valuing ourselves. So uh, Kirk, that made a major impact on my life and, and wow. why I wrote my <laughs> I had, chapter on abstinence in my book. Wow, I had no idea. Thank you for yeah. telling that encourages me so much.